Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Your men that crashed at the Chunka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look. If you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan. And I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Paladin? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. We will be. You have to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. The Salarian Galatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's what we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now. Standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander.
Shepard, you proved yourself a capable warrior on Sirkesh. Our property has been returned to its rightful owner. You're halfway there. You said one of your squads is missing? We've, uh, heard some troubling rumors about the Rachni Relay. Rachni? A few scouts went to check it out, but we lost contact. So I sent our Lech company, my best squad, to investigate. They can meet me there. Even your history with the Rachni, I figured you'd want in on this. I'll do what I can. Well, let's hope it's enough. What do you think the Krogan will do after the Genophage is cured? As the one who cured it, my word will be law over all the other clans. Then your council will remember why they feared the Krogan. Sounds like you're looking for some payback. My people have suffered a great injustice. To let the Genophage go unpunished would show weakness. At the very least, the threat of revenge will ensure an accommodation is reached. Violence can be a useful tool, Commander. What's the situation back at Chunta? I got word that more Reaper forces arrived. They're planning something. You almost sound excited. Oh, I am. We're at our best against enemies everyone else fears. The Salarians are hiding. The Turians are begging for help. But Krogan, we're happy to let the Reapers in, so we can measure their heads for trophies before we kill them. Back on Sirkesh, the female Krogan didn't seem to like you much. It doesn't matter. I'm her clan leader, and she'll obey my word. Her immunity is an unexpected gift. It will force the other clans to accept Erdnot rule as supreme. Our offspring will outnumber theirs in no time. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. Maybe a race that started a galactic war can't be trusted to keep their word. She wouldn't risk one while trying to rebuild her species. Well, the scouts found something. Could be nothing. Or it might be another invasion. If it is the Rachni, they need to be stopped. And make sure you finish the job this time, Shepard. Let's get back to work. Yes, there's a lot to be done. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trader? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. 
Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Idi, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs>